Hi, welcome back to Gillian at Mystic Healing Therapies. So today I'm going to tell you about a day I spent last week with Mark Atwood. So many of you might know Mark Atwood, but you can find him at markatwood.com. You can find him on YouTube, Mark Atwood Adventures in a Cosmic Suit. So that's where you find Mark. Okay, so on Wednesday we had the most phenomenal day. Um, we went to Arbolo Stone Circle in Derbyshire. Now, Arbolo Stone Circle is really important because it's the convergence of, I think it's nine or ten different ley lines that run all throughout the UK and obviously throughout the world. And this place in Derbyshire, this stone circle, is the convergence of all these stone circles. So we were intuitively guided to go there and we set about to do some healing work. So as you might see from some of my other videos, I quite often go to these stone circles and free up the energy. So we set around by um, using my method of opening my, the portals through the um, soul star, um, sorry, the earth star, the base, the sacral, the navel, the solar plexus, the radiant golden heart, the throat, the third eye, the crown, the causal, the soul star on the stellar gateway. So we started out doing that. And then Mark had this intuition to, he said, there's something over there that needs clearing. So we went over there and had a look and we noticed some stone set in, um, set, well, it was a stone, like a mini obelisk type stone. And on it, Mark noticed there was the initials VR. And we deduced that that would be Victoria Regina. And we realized that they had used these stones to block the energy. So that stone with her name on, she was claiming the energy for that ley line. So we did some clearing um, and returned that ley line, freed up the ley line and returned the ley line to the light. And then we noticed, we walked round the stone circle, around the circumference on the outside, and we noticed on each corresponding ley line, there was a stone with VR on. So if any of you have watched David Icke's The Albium, he talks about how um, the dark forces inscribe their names on obelisks and things in energy centres, and then they capture that energy and use that energy. And this is exactly what had happened at the stone circle R below in Derbyshire. So we went round each and every ley line, each and every stone, um, using the healing process. You know, we brought in the light, um, used invocations like um, restore, refresh, re-energize, restore, refresh, re-energize, restore, refresh, re-energize. And other ones we might have used, I am the love, I am the light, I am the truth, I am. I am the love, I am the light, I am the truth, I am. I am the love, I am the light, I am the truth, I am. So we went round and there were 10 of these sto um, stones. One of them had been pushed out the ground and it had got antennae in it. So, you know, they use the conductor metal antennae in the bottom to conduct it and put it into the earth energy so on the ninth one this one didn't say um vr it said gr george regina now this one was really really demonic um and it we had to do lots and lots of clearing on that one and then we move around to the tenth one and as we freed up that last energy line, we had the most phenomenal experience. So it was a really dark gray chemmed day. And then as we completed the healing on that last line, unbelievably the sun came out and put on the most iridescent light show i've never seen anything like it it was like plasma pulsating at all different colors right in front of our eyes now mark's cameraman is not mark was filming this by the way he's going to make a film of it so when it comes out i'm going to, i'll obviously post the links um but his cameraman isn't really 
necessarily on this page, but he was absolutely blown away by this phenomena that we saw. And then there was two other women that um, had come to look at the circle and they witnessed this phenomena. It was off the charts unbelievable. Um, so we know that we're doing the work and that was a sign to say thank you, I think. And we'd cleared up these ley lines. So I'm expecting to feel differently. The energies of Britain, the energies are going to be different because we freed up this energy. Now, what I'd like all, I know there's a lot of people watching this that do this healing work anyway. So what I'd like you to do when you go to your own local stone circles is to just have a look. Are there on the outside of the circles, have they tried to capture this energy and inscribed these um, demonic symbols on it or their symbols to try to block the energy and capture it for themselves one or the other and if they are you know how you can help the cause is just go to them and ask for this stone to be returned to the light you know a simple mantra restore refresh re-energize restore refresh re-energize restore refresh re-energize but also when you're doing this work because you know we're dealing with to be honest dark forces i encourage you all to make sure that your um, protection is in place so you know you can just ask for archangel michael's protection and that will be enough to give you the protection so if you go in and even if you just go up to the simple stone um the stone and say i ask for archangel michael's protection and i ask that this stone is dismantled and returned to the light restore refresh re-energize restore refresh re-energize restore refresh re-energize and see it turning back into the light that would be a really great service for humanity now i know um, there are other stone circles in derbyshire that have got these symbols on so i'm going to be quite excited now to go and investigate them and when i go there i will make probably make videos just to show you because I think this is really um, important and a really good way of freeing up the energy all right so yeah and another thing if you can take a little this I took he he helped me my little crystal man um, obviously the crystals add to energy and add to your power so that's just something to leave you with so have a look out when when this film comes out I will be posting it because you know, Mark will make a fantastic job of, um, he's captured it on film because we didn't know what we were going to find and his cameraman just literally captured it as it unfolded. So it's going to be really exciting. I can't wait for that to come out. All right, lots of love to you all. Take care, lots of love. Bye for now.